20 uh, plant workers who lost their jobs at Cangro and the 150 affected tender fruit growers uh, in the area. Now, last week, I asked the minister why she walked away from two offers to purchase and operate that plant. Mr. Speaker, the minister replied, I'm quoting from Hansard, we were at the table making the offers we have made, end of quote. Minister, can you tell the members of the legislature and the people of Hamilton and Niagara exactly what offers the government put on the table? Question. Minister. Thank you, Speaker. I'm very happy to address this issue once again, and in particular for the people of Niagara. What's very important to us at this government is that we have a canning business in Ontario, and this is one of the remaining few in the nation, and in particular, we wanted it right here in Ontario. The difficulty is this. When the Ontario government comes to the table to discuss with CanGrow the opportunity to work with partners to be able to purchase from CanGrow the operation, we actually need CanGrow to participate in that kind of a deal. We, all of us at the table, are not successful in keeping Cangro at the table to want to participate in a sale. That is a very critical piece to have in order to make something work. You need the company to want to sell. It was a very, very difficult discussion to see that we could not get that kind of participation from Cangro. Well, thank you. Uh Mr. Speaker, you know, we contacted both the uh, potential buyers about the minister's uh, fanciful tales. And uh, to put it uh, politely, I asked, I asked the honourable member to withdraw the comment. We asked uh, both of the potential buyers about the minister's tale. Uh, and to, uh, to put it uh, politely, uh, Mr. Speaker, they said uh, horse feathers. Uh, in fact, uh, they both had cooperated with Cangro to make uh, proposals uh, to the province of Ontario. And I don't know. Mr. Speaker, we'll ever find out uh, exactly why uh, the McGuinty government chose to let this deal collapse and see the plant uh, close down. But it brought up the very frustrating image uh, of the minister in China cutting a ribbon while pink slips are being handed out to workers uh, in Niagara. Minister, now with the plant closing, with trees being pulled out of the ground, what are you going to do today to help Niagara tender fruit growers and the 100? displaced workers. Yes, sir. Thank you. I too, I have to tell you, Speaker, that I too had questions. When we knew after becoming a government in 03 that this government and that member in particular participated in giving Cangro $4 million, we find out today, of course, that there were no strings attached to this $4 million, like the opportunity to keep them in operation in Ontario. The money, in fact, was for equipment to help them become more productive, things that should have helped can grow. And we too would still like to see can grow here. In the absence of that, we would like to see groups come together locally, something. The government is not in the business of canning, but we are in the business of looking to see how something could work. We would need to see that production would still exist after a year. We would need to see that there are tender fruit growers who would provide the feedstock for canning. These are the kinds of components that the taxpayers would expect us to participate in, and I would appreciate the— Thank you. Thank you. New question, the member.